Welcome to the world. Okay, so. This is the second video in the like Disney animated kind of character series. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But today, um, I've decided we're going to do Alice from the 1951 um, Disney animated movie. Now, Alice is in this portrayal very young, very innocent, very muted in color whites. Like she's got her gorgeous blue and then the, pretty much the only other color you've got is her, she's got her blue eyes, her blue dress, and then she's got her blonde yellow hair and then her kind of rosy colored lip. But like throughout the movie, most of the color that you see is color that's around her, not really color that's on her. Cause I'm not counting like when she's holding a teacup or when she's sitting in a red chair because those are things that are interacting with her. Or like even when she's playing croquet with the Red Queen, that's something that's interacting with her. That's not her herself as the character. It's colored. Um, she's not like the Cheshire Cat where sometimes he's pink and purple and sometimes he's, you know, pink and mauve and sometimes he's lilac and purple and, and things like that. It's not like that. This is she is pretty much constantly the same colors. It's just more of a muted tone of blue when she's sad or like a bit of a brighter tone of blue when she's happy. But it's all pretty much in blues and then her hair is consistently blonde. So... I've, the inspiration that I get from this is, um, we're still going to be doing a glam look, but the inspiration that I get from this is more of like a mellow, kind of innocent look, softer in the colors and in the application. Now I'm going to tell you guys now, I have never been good at soft, mellow, muted looks. <laughs> um, and I've never been good at like innocent looks. Uh, so this is going to be a new one for all of us. Um, I'm using my BH Cosmetics. Take me back to Brazil palettes um, because they have the closest thing to, I think, her dress blue um, and yellow for her hair that I'm going to use. And I've already got my foundation and my contour and my blush and my brows on because my goal is I have to keep it light if I've already got my face on because that tells me what kind of base I'm working with. Now, normally I do my eyes first. You guys all know I'm an eyes first kind of girl. Now, the reason I'm not doing my eyes first in this is because I knew if I did my eyes first, then I would have the ability to, like, build it up and build it up and build it up. And I don't want us to lose that, like, innocence that she has. Um, and so we've got, we're going to do, like, a little bit of liner, but we're just going to do a coal liner. We've got my, uh, my little bit of my softer mascara here. I've got my brows on already. We're going to go with, like, a pinker, like, a lightish lip. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and jump on into it. Um, I've got everything out that I need because I specifically had to plan this one to keep myself restrained because I don't do light, soft, subtle well. I'm thinking what I'm going to do because she does have white as an option that I think I'm going to do like a yellow on the inner corner fading out into the blue or like a yellow in the middle fading out into the blue with like the white as the highlight and then the black being the liner and the mascara. I think that's what we're going to kind of try for. Whether or not that's what we end up with We'll find out, won't we? Okay. So we're going to start off with... First, I'm going to actually swatch some of these colors on the back of my hand to see kind of what I'm working with here. Now, I know I just used this yellow yesterday, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Okay, so I think this is going to be like a very soft shimmer look. We're going to start with the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. We're going to use that blue right there. Um, and we're going to kind of put that into my crease and my outer V. And kind of go from there. But we don't really want to give it like a cat shape. We just want to, oh, that's being, that's being a booger, aren't you? We're wanting to kind of keep it with a more mellow toned down shape. Um, we are going to blend it all the way down into the lower corner. So that we can kind of trace out the shape we want and then kind of like coloring within the lines. First we have to make our line. And we're wanting to keep this very rounded. And 
And again, we're just kind of building it up. Kind of like a rainbow shape. And now, using that same palette, we're going to take this white down here in the corner. Get it everywhere, apparently. We're going to go over the top of that blue to try and soften up that edge and lighten up that blue. And we're going to kind of bring that white down into the lower corner. And then on that same palette, we're going to switch to this side and use this kind of lighter blue, bluish greenish shade. Kind of go on the bottom half of that blue. Now looking at her hair, it's more of a golden in some places and a yellow in others, like a white yellow. So we're going to use the lighter of the two yellows. We're going to use this kind of golden yellow and we're going to pair it with this like lightish greenish yellow. Now I know there's not green in her look, but it's the lightest yellow. And if you look over on the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio edition, it translates into a yellow glitter. And we're just going to keep using the same brush because I'm kind of liking the way it's going. Didn't turn out quite as innocent and young and light as I wanted, but we've got time. So we're going to pick up those two yellows and just kind of pat and blend. And again, we don't want too much of them because we're wanting it to be kind of a muted look. I'm trying. And then we're going to again, this yellow that I just showed you over here. I'll go this way. This one, we're going to go in with some of that over everywhere that we just put yellow. Kind of shimmer it. Because I feel like shimmer just makes things look younger. Okay, and then what I'm going to do just to kind of lighten the whole look up is I'm taking some of my e.l.f. finishing powder with this Wet n Wild brush. I don't, I know it's a Wet n Wild brush. I don't exactly remember what it is. I think it's an all over shadow brush. I'm gonna pick some of that up and just like take it over the top to kind of calm the shiznit down. That's actually not working. I know what we'll do. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take and use our magic eraser trick. Because I like where this look is going. I just think it's a bit too big. So we're going to do my quick little magic eraser trick. Which is where I take just a little bit of primer, Mary Kay face primer, clean tissue, and it'll just erase away. Fold the tissue the other way, grab the rest of the primer off my finger, and erase away. Okay, that makes it a lot lighter. Then we're just going to take our little baby plooper, our little baby blender, and kind of soften up the blue and yellow there. We're going to use this guy again with a little bit more of the e.l.f. setting powder and put it under our eyes. 
just because the magic eraser took off the foundation we had down there. And then we're going to take the other side that has a little bit of pigment left and just gently staying super in the crease. There we go. And we're going to take our fluffer and then you take me back to Brazil Rio edition. Take the lightest blue glitter right here. Just tap it barely on the end. And go right over that blue. We're just going to tap it gently and then make sure you keep it in your crease. You don't want it too high. You might bring it down a bit. Bringing it down is fine. Just don't bring it up. And what I do to make sure it doesn't go up is angle my brush down slightly. It'll bring it down over that yellow a bit. I'm going to take it under our lower lashes. Just a smidge. Just to try and give us some color down there. And all I'm doing to get color on the lower lashes is I'm just using the brushes that I've been using. Now I'm going to tight line my top lid real quick. I don't think I want to do a cat eye or anything like that. I just want a little bit. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay. Next is lashes. Squisher. Mirror. Don't stab yourself. And I always do two squishes. One as close as possible to my eyeball. Uh, slightly far away. No, squished. And after the squishes is mascara. I have not yet thought of a fun name for this. I'm going to give this a little bit, like a little cut. Just a light coat. Just so my lashes don't look like they're non-existent. Because we don't need non-existent lashes. Just a little bit. Now, the lips. So, we're using this LA Colors pinkish colored lip liner. It doesn't say what color it is, it's this pink color. I'm going to put this on and then we're going to decide if we want to, because this is really, really pink. Oh, okay. It's not like super, super pink, it just looks really, really pink. So, I'll be right back. Okay. And that, I think, is just a little too pink, so we are going to go over it with the uh, LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. But we're just going to tap it because I don't want it too, too dark. Here we go. We want that color. Okay, and that is the Alice look. Um, I tried to keep it more like low-key, relaxed, kind of younger looking. Um, I don't know if I succeeded. There's just a little hint of yellow because her hair is just a little bit yellow. There's the black liner because, well, her bow, her shoes, etc. And then, like, some, a little bit of mascara. Real minimal on the face. Um, I have like a teeny tiny bit of highlight on, but not a whole lot. And then kind of a pinkish lip. And not gonna lie, you guys, like I wasn't super stoked about doing Alice, but I'm I'm I kind of like the way she turned out. Um, it's pretty. 
like, I, I, I wasn't the most excited about doing this one, but I'm really glad I decided to do her. Because I feel like, one, she's one of the main characters. The series definitely needs her. And two, I wouldn't have discovered this. Like, I probably would have discovered this eventually, but this feels very Alice to me. So, on that note, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you like it. Uh, like, comment down below. Well, like, comment, and subscribe. But comment down below. Let me know what other characters you think I should do. Or what other, like, movies you think I should do. Because I made, I, last night I went and made, like, a list of the movies. I went on Wikipedia and I looked up the list of all of the Disney movies that are just Disney released. At least I presume so. Um, because that they were all listed. It had their dates all the way up to the most recent ones. To include Frozen 2. Um, unpopular opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of Frozen 2. Um, and since it's got a majority of the same characters as Frozen, I probably won't do a Frozen 2 of these unless you guys really want me to. So, like, let me know down below. Um, and let me know what, what movie you guys think I should do next. Because this one's got a whole lot of characters before we get to the next movie. But I haven't decided yet what I want to do next. So, let me know what Disney movie of the older ones do you think I should do next. Because I do want to attempt to go and, like light order like not obviously not exact order because I, I didn't start with Snow White um but you know let me let me know um so on that note it was wonderful chatting with all of you guys I hope you had fun um I hope you're staying safe out there and all the craziness remember to be kind to one another be kind to yourselves be the change you want to see in the world and remember as always especially right now a smile is infectious bye